morning, everyone. We'll go and get things started. We would like to welcome Michael Thorbjornsson to the Travelers Championship Media Center. Michael, welcome back. Thank you. Entering this week, uh, from last week, finishing fourth place. What are kind of thoughts and memories of uh, being back since last year? Well, it feels really good. Um, can't believe it's been a whole year now. Um, so much has happened uh, in college and then prior to this week playing on tour for a couple weeks now. Um, uh, this place feels like home. Uh, I love the golf course. Um, the hospitality here is amazing. Everyone's very nice, very welcoming. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited to, to start playing again tomorrow. Are there any specific memories from that Sunday being in the mix? Yeah. Um, I remember starting my final round off like pretty well. Felt like I was playing really well, but the, I wasn't really scoring. Uh, I think I was maybe even through four or five, not really making any birdie putts. And then all of a sudden, I think I hit it to a couple inches on six, I think, for eagle, part of the next hole, and then birdied my next four. Um, can't really tell you too much about it. It kind of seemed like golf was pretty easy at that point. Um, and then, yeah, I think we were in contention or within one or two with seven holes to play, and that was something that I wasn't really ready for. I thought maybe if I put a good round together, maybe I'll be uh, in the mix with a couple holes left, but uh, certainly not that early. It was such a good showing. We're invited back this year. Um, how and when did you get the call back for um, the Travelers Championship? I think I was at school probably. I think I was actually playing a practice round with some of my teammates. Um, got a text saying um, to give this number a phone call. Um, and yeah, I after hearing it, I, I was actually really surprised. Um, just knowing that it was an elevated event this year, I'm thinking there's no way I'm getting invited back. But surprisingly, um, I got the invite and definitely really, really grateful and very appreciative of it. Just wrapped up junior season at Stanford. Where have you seen your game grow um, since being back here? Um, I feel like I've gotten better at just being more consistent in my everyday life, um, and that's been translating over to the uh, to the golf course, um, both mentally and physically. I feel like I was kind of erratic a little bit before my first two years at school, and then kind of last summer leading into this school year, um, been focusing a lot with my coaches on just like how can I get to that next level, and yeah, after after first couple weeks back on campus, we kind of realized like what what I really need to focus on, and uh, yeah, I, I had my best college season yet, and hoping to do even better next year. We have a couple more for you, but. I'll pass it over uh, to the media for a few questions. We're going to get a microphone over here to uh, Jim McCabe in the front. Mike, when you have these opportunities and your dad, because you don't, don't get a chance to be with him um, often, how, how special are those weeks when he is out here with you? No, it's very special. Um, I feel like... I have an unbelievable team. I have my dad um, and Drew and then the XL family out there always. Um, they always got my back. Um, so, yeah, it, it's very nice. I feel like it's like our own little family. We, we're traveling across, across the country. A lot of things are changing, but one thing that stays the same is the team. So it's, it's very nice. I feel like we're all um, just gathering great experiences and making great memories. Hey, Michael, um, you just said it feels so kind of like being like at home. Um, how, would, how nice would it be to have one of these events back in Boston, whether it's next year or the year after that or whenever it works out? Yeah, I mean, that would, that would be unbelievable. I remember the U.S. Open um, being in Boston last year, 15 minutes away from my house. Um, super cool experience. I mean, I don't, we don't have any PGA Tour events uh, in Massachusetts or in Boston anymore. I think, what was it, like the Deutsche Bank or something, a part of the playoff series. Um, I remember growing up watching that, going to TPC Boston, wanting to play in that tournament. Uh, but, I mean, 
if there's ever an opportunity for the PGA Tour to get a tournament back, uh, I, I definitely think they should do it. You touched on it a little bit, but being a junior in college, how much of your growth over the past year has just been learning about yourself and, and kind of growing into who you are as a person versus on the golf course? Yeah, that's been a huge part. Um, I, I, th I think it's my teammates, honestly, and, and my coach as well, or my assistant coach. He His first year was my freshman year, and uh, he's actually leaving after this, or has left now, and... We, we had a really nice moment just saying, like, he's extremely proud of me and not, not just because of, like, how well I'm doing on the golf course, but he's like, you've grown, you've matured. It's, it, he's, he's, like, almost crying, like, he feels like he's a father uh, in a way. But, yeah, I, I've learned a lot about myself, and I, th I feel like that's probably what causes uh, better play on the golf course. Um, and, yeah, I, I mean, golf – is a part of my life. It's not my life. And that, that's something that uh, I've had to remind myself. I wanted to ask you about the driving range out here. It's a pretty spectacular facility over across the street. Just your thoughts compared to some of the places that you're usually practicing. Yeah, I, this driving range is huge. I don't think you can run out of spots for players to play uh, to practice in. Um, you got everything. You have large putting green, great uh, chipping, pitching green, uh, yeah, some of the other places that I've played definitely don't have as big of a driving range. You can't really see the full flight of your driver, sometimes hitting into a net. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of bent grass, and you had a lot of bent grass over here, so it's all, that's, that's really nice, yeah. And for those who are a little less familiar with your game, where would you say your strength is in your game? Driving, short game? Definitely my, my iron play. Um, my, my, I'm known for being a good driver, but as of late, the past couple of weeks, I've been kind of struggling with it, but we're, we're figuring it out. But yeah, definitely like ball striking uh, as a whole is my strength. And uh, with the youth of golf, seeing PGA Tour U players have success right away, especially recently on the Corn Ferry Tour. Um, how great is that in confidence to see the path to follow? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I think it was Adrian who won last week, and then Ricky won... Uh, most recently, unbelievable work by the, uh, them too. They, they're outstanding players. They're good guys too. So it's really cool and proud of them to, uh, to see them winning out there. Um, and then you have Ludwig and Sam, who are also part of that graduating class, and they've been doing really well on tour. I mean, you can look at Sam uh, at the Masters, made the cut at the U.S. Open. Ludwig, I think, hasn't missed a cut yet um, this year, and. Yeah, just being, I think the, the younger guys are getting better and better. And I, I think it's because that we all see what opportunities are out there for us. PGA Tour U has created an unbelievable platform for us to uh, perform our best and to have some sort of a pathway on tour. And yeah, I'm extremely grateful for that. And who's on the back for you this week? Has it been the same friend you've had in past events? Yeah. Um, Drew Cohen has been on my back now for, I want to say, two years now. I think we first started, uh, I think, for the Northeast Amateur two years, two summers ago. I was kind of picked him on, on, on a whim. I'm just like, okay, I'll give him his, his one chance. And then I think the next tournament after that was the Western Am, and we won, and we've kind of just stuck to it. How's that dynamic work with someone with a friend um, in a competition mode? Yeah, uh, we definitely know when it's time to work and when it's time to fool around and goof off. But um, out there, I think he, Drew, has known me for so long. He's been my best friend for a, a long time now, and he knows what I'm like. He knows what I'm like when I'm upset. He knows what I'm like on and off the golf course, so he knows how to handle me. Um, I might not be the, the nicest guy to him uh, at times, but... Uh, I, I just I do get a little frustrated out there, but he does a really good job of calming me down if I'm not playing too well or or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great relationship that we have, and when we are out there, we do have a lot of fun. Pat, any other questions? All right, thank you, Michael, for joining us, and good luck this week. Thank you.